think it's nice. It's very welcoming. Take a look around the gas lamp quarter near the convention center. You'll see wall-to-wall -wall building wraps advertising for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on apartment buildings. The sitcom Abbott Elementary is plastered across the side of Petco Park and SpongeBob SquarePants on the Hard Rock Hotel. I love the art. I love the animation. Very welcoming. Yeah, you can make a you can it can make you a fan without realizing that you were a fan before. The CEO of Cap Media, the company responsible for most of the Comic Con building rap advertising, Lori Brabant says this year is the biggest ever. In 2012, we did our first wall wrap, which was at the Marriott Marquis South Wall, which is where Star Trek is this year, and that runs at 36,000 square feet. Jump to 2024, and we have 25 placements, so it's grown exponentially. The wrap advertising reportedly can cost more than $100,000 per building, but the CEO would not talk about the costs or the fact that the wraps are actually illegal in the city of San Diego. I mean, how do you respond to that kind of thing? You know. So, I'd like you not to be taping this. The CEO told me off camera the city is fully aware of her company's building wrap advertising, but she had no further comment. It's very unique to San Diego, gas lamp and uh, Comic Con, and it's it's only a temporary thing. The city emailed me a statement saying, in part. The city will enforce unpermitted signage, including building wraps, per the municipal code. The Building and Land Use Enforcement Division has enforced Comic-Con signage using administrative citations since 2019. The citations range from a warning to a $1,000 a day fine. Legal or illegal, most Comic-Con convention goers seem to love the larger-than-life building wraps. I like them. I loved SpongeBob when I was a kid, so it's nice to see the just giant yellow beaming face of my favorite cartoon character looking over me at all times as I walk the streets. Don't expect the building wraps to last for long. Comic-Con runs through Sunday. In the Gaslamp Quarter, David Godfordson, CBS 8.